know. I played this game when I was younger. All the time. All the time. Which is one of the reasons that I made this costume. I actually have a list of NES games from my childhood that I would like to cosplay to, like, as a, you know, kind of like a throwback to my younger years. This is one of them. Another of the games is, um, is, uh, Boy and His Blob, Little Nemo's Dream Master, um, Uninvited, which everybody, I know everybody tells me is really awkward, but, uh, that's why I have to go that way. Ah! Rescue Rangers is another one on the list. Um, this is there. Uh, I had Willow. <laughs> I know that's a really cheesy one, but uh, I was the biggest Willow fan when I was little. Like, huge, huge fan of Willow. So, I... Uh, I obviously played, I had the Nintendo game, which, which, actually, I had the Nintendo game, I had a friend of mine borrow it, and then he gave it to his older brother, who then sold all of his Nintendo games, of course I'm gonna die then, he sold all of his Nintendo games, and his game console, and did not bother to ask his brother that, you know, is this game yours? Because it wasn't his, it was mine. So, I lost my little game. But, that's okay, because Vim.net, for, for the emulator, which is the emulator that I got, and where I got this emulation of DuckTales, um, actually has Willow on their site, and you can- dang it, I still didn't push the jump button in time. Um, and you can, uh, you can actually play some of the games as Flash games on their site, so you don't even have to download, download an emulator, which is awesome. So the other day, I, like, literally, <laughs> I was playing Willow, like, probably about two months ago, I was playing Willow, and, um, I just, I just left it on. And I just would come out, um, you know, come home after work and jump on it again. Oh, I totally pushed the jump button right whenever I got in it. Okay, well, okay. I really wanted to find Mrs. Beakley. I don't even know how many lives I have left. Oh, screw that. And then it's back, randomly. Uh, other, other games. Uh, oh, Dragon Warrior. I wanted to do Dragon Warrior, but I, um, the original. Um, but I want, the, the main thing that I wanted to do with Dragon Warrior is I want to make, like, a really simple costume, like, based off the sprite of the, of the Dragon Warrior character. And then I want to make, like, two or three of the props, because, uh, I had, like, the special edition Dragon Warrior game. And it came with, like, this really cool little book, and it had, like, really beautiful illustrations of, like, all the items that you get throughout the game. And I just thought it would be so fun. So fun! To, like, dress up like that, and... As long as I'm not a slime. I can, I can dig that. Oh, I thought that there was, like, a little thing that you get here. There is! I know there's a thing that you get here. Like a little box that shows up up here? Maybe not. I thought there was one that shows up like right there, and then you knock it down with the... Guess not. Of course. I thought that that's where Mrs. Beasley was before. Maybe not. Okay, well, Miguel, I already saved him, but thank you. Oh, I don't want to cosplay as Split. I'm just not reading your thing. I don't want to... <laughs> I want to cosplay as, um... Just Little Nemo. But I want to make a, a Kigger... I don't know if you know what a Kigurumi is, but it's these, like, big, like, oversized pajamas that you wear. Um, it's really big in Japan. Um, people wear, like, big teddy bears and stuff. What I wanted to do is I wanted to make the little boy in the pajamas costume... And then I want to make a Kigurumi of the, uh, of the, uh, frog that you feed the candy to, and then you can, like, jump inside of his mouth, which is really bizarre, but you can jump inside his mouth, and, um, 
I wanted to make a kigurumi of the of that and then wear that. That was my I have like a plan for everything. Like for for rescue rangers, I'm doing gadget. We just got to. She's not even in the game that much, but. By the way, that's like the heart, so that added to my health, even though my health is infinite. Serious boar stuff? Which game did you get for free? Rusty Rangers? I believe this one takes me to the middle of the. Yeah, this one takes me to the middle again. That's just to throw you off the scent, because the other one is the one that takes you to the final boss. Yeah, I actually, um, I was really excited. I got the Dragon Warrior one at a garage sale. <laughs> and it came with, like, all the extra stuff and, like, a huge map and, you know, back then, that was, like, a huge deal to me. Huge deal! Like, that was probably my first, uh, honestly, I didn't, I didn't play Zelda as, as much. I know. It's crime against humanity. But, um, I didn't play Zelda as much, uh, so that one was, like, my first RPG, and I really liked the fact that they had, you have this map, right? And you can get, you get this map that's color-coded, and the color coding tells you what monsters are in what areas. So you find out that there's, like, in this one little square, there's, like, a Cyclops character. Now she's gonna sit down and she's gonna spurt out that. This is actually in this version of the game. This is probably, like, the easiest boss fight, honestly. It is way harder in the remastered version. All of the- I would say all the boss fights are hardest in the remastered version. But this is definitely one of the first boss fights that you get. Whenever I played the game, I'd always play Transylvania first because this is the easiest. Ah! It is not easy right now. Why? Because I'm just trying really hard to beat it. Yeah. Oh yeah! Give me that coin! Coin! Yeah! Coin returns! Coin returns! Yeah, so in Dragon Warrior, there's like this one little cube that you can get the golden golem to is like a random boss in this cube. So I like, and it supposedly was like a really easy like boss to fight, but it gave you like so much gold. So <laughs> I leveled up so that I could get to that area, so I could get through the other areas and get past the monsters. And then I went to that area, and I just, like, literally as a kid, I just stood back and, like, would walk back and forth between one square and then the golden square, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I never, I never saw that goal of it. It was probably, like, a 1 in 100 chance that it was going to show up or something. Okay, so we played Transylvania on the old game! Let's try out the new game! Yay! so I can play the new game. Now this hat's a little tight for my head right now. I pushed it down really far tonight, I'm not exactly sure why. Okay. Whoa, I have like a ton of games that I forgot I had. chat on my phone because uh I like what well, I like playing DuckTales full screen.
actually, you know what? Ah, midis. I remember never I used to have, like, midis in the background on my website. I think I actually probably had a duck tail midi. Probably the moon level, because I think that's the best one. So, are we ready for some remastered DuckTales? Well, I know I am. Last week we played the Amazon levels, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna find my thing that I'm streaming. I'm streaming this game. I had one that was called Student Accounts because I did not like the thought, the idea of having to get like a specific number. Because remember back when GeoCities was like roads and you like picked a house number and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I am so excited right now. I'm not giving myself a hat Because I'm tight tonight. Okay. I'm pushing these glasses with different actual glasses. Okay, let's... No, not in game. Continue. Okay, so last week we did Amazon levels, so we won't be able to get to that yet. Well, first... It's all about jumping in that money. Honey... Oh my god! It has rumble! Tonight we're going to Transylvania, which is, this is, uh, way more. Pack your bags, boys. We're off to Transylvania, and we're no coming back without the coin of the lost realm. Okay, so you don't take your kids with you to the Amazon, because it's too scary, but you do take them to the place where there's a vampire duck. Alrighty. This is it, kids. Draculesty Manor. Home of the legendary Drake Von Vladstone. Heir to the coin of the lost realm. A hair flip Boy, is it's kind of creepy out here, cheese. isn't it? Uh, uh, Uncle <laughs> Scrooge, we're not gonna break into this guy's house, are we? Yeah, of course not, Louis. This castle has been abandoned for centuries. Hey, look at this! The Junior Woodchuck Guidebook says Drake Von so Gladstone was it's best known by his nickname so Count Dracula Duck. Uh, is there really a monster in there, Uncle? Got so much stuff going on. That's why it's all shit. Ah, uh, don't be silly, Webby. Yeah, there's no such thing as Dracula. 
Dracula. All right. Ah, uh, he is right, isn't he, I Uncle love this Scrooge? Animation coming. Ah, of course he is, Louis. Vampires, banshees, and mischievous spirits are just a lot of superstitious hocus pocus. They're so cute. <laughs> but you better stick close to me, just in case. Ah, oh, yeah, this is. Whoa! Yeah, look at that thing shake. It also makes the controller vibrate. <laughs> They're so cute! Look at them all following me! So cute. Okay. Now you boys stay put and keep an eye on Wee Webbergale. I'll be back with the treasure in no time. Aw, oh, nuts! We want to come with you, Uncle Scrooge! Don't worry. I'll be back with the coin before you can say E Pluribus Unum. E Purple Bus Whoom? Yeah, I'm not sure that's as fast as you think it is. Besides, why should we have to stay here just because Webby's a big chicken? Yeah! Oh, we're not afraid of uh, whatever's hiding out there, uh, are we? You oh, boys are so mean! I'll show you who's not afraid of the dark! Wee 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 oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Huey! Dewey! <laughs> Louie! She's so cute! Of course. Everything will be fine, my darling. Wait here and I'll be back with the lads lickety-split. 